What's up, hacksters? Today we're going to be getting started with programming the new Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. You can find the written tutorial as well as thousands of other Arduino tutorials on hackster.io at the link below. Also follow us here on YouTube for more hardware tutorials, unboxings, and interviews. I'm your host, Alex Glow, and if you missed my unboxing of the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and Minima, check that out in the description below as well. Now let's dig in. To program either Uno R4, we need the Arduino IDE and it runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Install it to your system and fire it up. You can also use the web editor, but we'll cover that in another video. Head to the Getting Started page via the link below or on the main product page. If it's your first time in the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, you'll probably see a blank sketch. Click the logo that looks like your Uno to fire up the Boards Manager, search for the R4 boards, and install those board definitions so the IDE knows how to talk to them. These UNOs have a new type of processor from Renesas, so they're mostly compatible with previous versions, but a little different under the hood. Now plug in your board and see the cute little heart come up. The built-in yellow LED is also running the standard blink sketch, turning on or off once per second. Let's try something else. Hit the drop-down and select the R4 board. The IDE should automatically know which USB port it's plugged into, but you can also use the tools menu to pick a specific board and port. For now, we'll look under the file menu for some code examples that are specific to this board. The first option, sine wave, uses the Arduino's new digital to analog converter to generate a sine wave signal on pin A0. I don't have a speaker hooked up yet, so we'll move on to something else. Here's an example that uses the LED matrix to play a version of Conway's Game of Life. We hit the upload arrow, and it automatically checks and compiles the code before transferring it onto the board. The current sketch freezes and the RX LED flashes to show that the UNO is receiving data. Another example, Display Single Frame, flips between images one at a time. These are defined in the accompanying frames.h file. Now let's try Live Preview. This one sets up a continuous connection between your Arduino and your browser. Follow the directions at the top of the sketch to get to this editor at ledmatrix-editor.arduino.cc, where you can draw images and display them on the LED matrix in real time. I had the best luck establishing a connection in Chrome. Use the controls to copy or delete frames as you wish. If you create a full animation, you can download it as a .h header file and load it onto your Arduino using the Play Animation Example sketch. Use File Save As to make a copy of the sketch, navigate to the sketch folder, and drop your downloaded animation.h file there, replacing the original one. Upload the sketch and voila! Custom LED animation. This animation is a bit easier to see with a diffusion filter. A piece of paper does the trick. That's all the time we have for today. Remember to check out all the tutorials on Hackster.io, written by community members like you, and hack on!